we speak to two Springbok legends, Marius Chabert and Yvette Barry. Yvette Barry and Marius Chabert are one of the greatest Springbok centre pairings of all time. But the two started their rugby careers way back in the early 90s at Val Gymnasium. Morris and I actually became better friends after school because it's it's just a year gap and I was boarding as well. So and we obviously we, we shared some times on the rugby field and stuff, but we really became mates after school, you know, when we started playing together and going on tour together and things like that. So we became much closer after school than we were at school. But I mean, there was always a good rivalry there because we were a little bit competition for each other. <laughs> yeah, we were. Yeah. I had to move to the wings so, because the vet was parked off in the centres there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Morris always had a bit of more pace than me, so we had to move him out. <laughs> well, I never had to tackle because he always used to tackle them before they got to the wing, so I was, I was pretty happy with that. Uh. No, I don't think so. No, I think our parents were overprotective yes, of our mothers. Yeah, it, was, uh... it was actually because of my brother that I weird one because he he got a, he got a badly concussed as a schoolboy, and then my dad bought us both one. So, <laughs> and since then it feels like I play without underpants if I don't have it on, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you feel comfortable with it, then you it's got used to job. it. Yeah. So I just used to play with it, and yeah, that's it. No, 100%. We are uh, very fortunate, you know. Uh, rugby took us on a, on a big, uh, wonderful ride and picking up great memories, you know. And we shared a lot of it. And um, you know, we've got a one or two records that was under our name, you know. And <clears throat> and now, obviously, being after all these years, getting back and coming to our beloved Cape Town and and sharing time here together and um, obviously working together now, you know. So it's uh, it's a wonderful. And I think we've been put in a way we've been put in each other's past, you know, so that we can help each other in the future and uh, and, and working together, which is uh, which is wonderful. There is lots more pressure, you know, kids playing on TV nowadays, they've got professional coaches, all the schools have gyms, you know, and there's a, and obviously the pressure from parents, I assume, and then obviously there's, there's guys that, that sort of um, not think but they have the potential to make a living out of out of the game you know and get into a professional era straight away from out of school you know they can get a contract in school some of them I think it's vitally important that uh, you try and do something either study something while you while you're playing rugby or um, you know, get into, try and get into business, even though if you just go to a couple of things, a uh, few programs or a few courses that you can go and study or go and see how business work, you know, um, out in the real world, because it's, 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 it's really tough, tough out there and you need to, to be sharp, you know. You know? Both Marius and I didn't play Crayon Week and we, and we played on and he, he went a different route than I. I went club rugby, he went volant and we managed to make it eventually, you know. So I want to encourage kids, you know, even the B team guy, you know, I played, uh, it's easy to use yourself as an example. When I played under 15, under 16 B, and under 19 I played B, and then eventually I played first team, and then and then you get the opportunity. Uh, I've seen fantastic schoolboys, and they never really further on. They never made it, if I can say that. You know, they, they were much. I could say they, they were much better than than some of the other players I've seen and they, and does that I make it because he's a grafter he knows he must work hard he's a discipline and like he's look after himself and then he makes it so it is different but um, uh, people change and I think uh, if you have the tenacity in the world then, then they obviously they you can make it <laughs>